Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim Classic video. We are taking a first look at the ATS Gemma. You're probably like, eh? Gemma? What? <laughs> the Great Eastern Main Line and I'm assuming modernization something. Um, but basically, yeah, it's an updated Great Eastern Main Line by the lovely guys at ATS. So it's good quality. Uh, and this is Phase 1, which is Liverpool Street up to Ipswich with the Felixstowe branch. I think Harwich is included. Uh, and the Braintree branch where we're going. Uh, and we're going to be driving the 317 here on the right. So let's unpause. They said about nozzling the door key or changing it, so we'll do that. I assume we have a guard on this service. Um, I don't know this route very well. I hardly know this route in real life. I know you've got Stratford, Chelmsford, Colchester, Ipswich and Manning Tree. It's about the only stations I know on the route. And that might not even be, that might not be correct. Uh, let's do that. Do the doors, uh, which I think, yeah, we do have a guard. Um, can we get that on? Ah, there we go. Uh, I'm not sure what the code would be for it. I think we'll probably, can we flick through? Or? I think we'll probably do F8 for that. Uh, F8, oh, hello. Uh, brain tree, there you go, 026. There you go, brain tree, that's where we're heading. Um, and we are one foxtrot two two zero. One foxtrot two zero, and I believe it was zero four one. There we go. Be yeah, very happy to be on this route, as I've had quite a lot of issues trying just to get on it. Um, so the video would have been basically the morning after it released, but it's been a bit of a roller coaster to get to where we are now. So I'll go over that in a minute, um, basically how I fixed it. Um, yeah, we'll go over that in a second. Let's just sort of focus about on getting out of here. Which I believe Liverpool Street hasn't seen any changes, or at least minor changes. Um, I think a new Liverpool Street, like literally a completely new Liverpool Street, is coming in Phase 2. Um, I don't know when that will be. Maybe that will be when the flirts come out, not sure. Um... So yeah, at some point there will be a new Liverpool Street. As you can see at the moment, it looks like not great. Um, so yeah, at some point you'll see a new Liverpool Street. So another train coming in. What have we got coming in? Now oh, there's the train. What train's that? I'm sure it's probably a 360, isn't it? I always have issues with the 360. I don't know. It's like the. Um, the reskin of the 378 into the 376. I've always got issues with that one as well. The 360 always seems to have issues. Uh, right. Oh, we have got the signal. Has the guard buzzed us? I assume he would have. There we go. Right. That goes off. And we should be able to go. If we set it up correctly. There you go. We are be a very, very excited to be on here. Um... We'll go over little, some ins and outs just straight away. Um, this The Gemma Phase 1 is only for ATS members. So you do need to have an ATS subscription to then be able to download this for free. So, yeah. If you're like me, I, I didn't have an ATS subscription. Uh, I just buy the things basically at full price. Um, it, it, yeah, if you don't have an ATS subscription, it basically is 32 99 Because you get that for a year and then the route is free. Um, I don't know if eventually it's going to go so everybody can get it, but you do need an ATS subscription um, for for this. And they also picked up the Class 90 and then also the Mark III pack. Full price on AP, which was uh, a nice uh, expenditure. Let's get that up. Fortunately, I have most of the stock already, so it's just sort of picking up the uh, the loose ends, so the 90 and the Mark 3s. I'll set a 315. Yeah, 315. Liverpool Street's actually, well, this scenario set a few years ago, um, but sometimes you get a little bit of flying trains, so the, um, the Ventress going into the, um, um, the overground, or just the... the Surface platforms at um, Liverpool Street. 
I think you also get yeah overground trains going in there as well. There's a whole lot going on at Liverpool Street. And you can see on the map it sort of yeah goes spills out all over the all over the place. And it says something about Bethnal Green. There's some sort of signal failure, so I'll be looking out for that. But yeah, grateful, very, very grateful, very thankful to um, all of the guys in the ATS Facebook group. Um, who, yeah, without them, we probably wouldn't be playing this. Um, as yeah, I just, literally every time I try to load into into a scenario, it would just freeze. Literally, just freeze, and it, there was literally nothing I could do. Every, everything just froze. Um, and then I had a glimmer of hope when it did load. I, I don't know why. Maybe I did what I did and I forgot. But it did. It, it then loaded, um, and it was like, "Ooh, yes, we can do it." So I got all ready to record, and it just froze, completely froze. So I've done a full refresh of Train Some Classic. Um, it, that didn't work. Um, so yeah, the fix was pretty much just to load into a scenario on another route. <laughs> Um, which I did on the ACS chat moss. I loaded into a scenario there. Oh my god, there's a man up on the gantry up there. Um, yeah, did that and then loaded into this and now it works. At the moment it works. Hopefully it will remain working. But no, it's great to be on it. Hopefully it's looking alright as well. We do have the... Um, well, we should have the um, track enhancement pack installed. So I installed it just before we uh, began. But no, it improves the Great Eastern Main Line. Brings it up to slightly more modern standards. Um, and should make it so it doesn't crash. Because if you've played the original Great Eastern Main Line... When it comes to that route crashing, it's very good at crashing. So, this sort of fixed, is it? My like, fingers crossed. Let's just save it as we go along. Just in case. Probably should have picked slightly nicer weather. It's not the brightest, is it? It's sort of a bit hazy and murky. Would have brought out the colours a bit nicer. Yeah, so we're going to be calling at Stratford, Shenfield, Ingatestone, Chelmsford, uh, Whitton, White Notley, Cressing, I think they're all, yeah, Braintree, Freeport, and then Braintree. There's Braintree, Freeport, I think it's now called Braintree Village. But as this route sort of set, well, it set 2020 to 2021, some of it was called still Braintree, Freeport then. Again, I don't know this route really well, and in real life I mean really at all never been on it but when I saw it I was like I've got to get that it's London it's new I can use this train on here and the other call you know the 90 etc and also try and learn it so when the flirt comes out we can play it hudless so like that I mean that would be brilliant to do to sort of eventually learn it like that. So it might be a little bit slow through here as we are coming up to Stratford, uh, which is a huge um, old um, area, very built up, massive station. So we might get a little bit of lag coming through there, but I mean, that's just to, what to expect. It's like the London Bridge, but not as bad as London Bridge. So it might like a little bit. Yeah, coming into Strat Stratford, we are formed of eight coaches on this service. Again, as I did a fresh reinstall of trains, if you notice anything missing, just let me know and I can get it installed again. Yeah, this is us here. 
yeah, welcome to Stratford. Why are we stopping up there? Was that an S car stop? I mean, it's the end of the platform, so we'll go there. to the S car stop marker. Nice and slow. You have the stop markers as well. And that sort of meme one as well, which I'll show you in a second. Yeah, you've got this stop marker. That's <laughs> sort of the question mark Romford. As you see in lots of sort of railway memes. Yeah, this is Stratford. I'd have the stations have sort of been re- done in any way. I mean, I, I don't know about the platforms themselves. They still look quite low res. Again, that could just be me, but I mean, hopefully not. But sort of all the bits and pieces, stop markers are all sort of ready and new. And But this is only phase one, so. Alright, Shenfield, next in 16 miles. Let's just save the game. Let's go. There yeah, we are off. But uh, it's just a much more stable version of the route. As, um, well, yeah, the original version is not stable one bit. It will crash on you all the time. I think when we actually originally played it on the original version, every time we went into Liverpool Street, it would just crash. So it wasn't really... It was sort of just a route you avoided. Even though it was... It, yeah, it's a good route, it just, you just avoid it. There's a dustbin. There's a really old route in Train Sim Classic though, the Great Eastern Mail, I think 2013, 2014. So it's one of the really sort of much older routes in the game. But yeah, it's a sort of the updated, better version of it with new OHLE. Um, just scenery's been improved on it. But again, it's phase one, so it's still sort of a work in progress. And again, sort of the platform's still looking a bit low res. I mean, they'll probably be swapped out for better stuff. As and when. Oh, we'll get that. Up. I don't think we we're actually missing any AI for this as well, so we should see, well, the full amount. Should do. I'm just gonna double check on the platforms actually. I know there's like patch notes for it, or not patch notes, but sort of what's changed uh, within the uh, within the route. And of course, as we go along, we'll save it as well, make sure that's up to date. Lovely. Yeah, 90. It's a nice and quick along here. I mean, if you have made it this far in the video, thanks for sticking around. And what do you guys think so far of the? updated GEML as we sort of make our way out of uh, out of the busy section that's all of these older stations Lovely. Cool. And let's see. I'm just I'm watching another video for reference in terms of sort of if Marvel looks a bit off. <laughs> I think we're all good. Oh, hang on, we're slowing. Oh, we're going uphill, that's why. As I say, why are we slowing down? Okay, the platforms do look slightly better on there. That's why it's just some stations which are a bit low rest. I don't know. Not sure. I mean, we're running on high graphics, so should be okay.
Actually, we're losing speed, um, that's just it's a bit broken, so there we go, that's better. Yeah, we've been sort of losing it. And we'll speed that back up. We'll get a nice flyer by shot as well. In fact, let's do let's just save it and we get a fly by shot. Let's go ahead. Uh, is it, what's this station coming up? Some sort of big depot. Gidea Park? I don't know. As I don't know the uh, <laughs> the GEML too well. Let's go along to this stop. Seven Kings. Oh, this one's got a better looking uh, platform to it. Hang on, are we on the... Yeah, this is the right line, isn't it? Yeah. Also, I don't want to whizzing past on the wrong bit. There's another one as well, brilliant, with a 90, which we will certainly drive at some point, because that is a really cool train. As we make our way along, I do actually have a map of this route on my wall, literally just up there to the left, first the whole sort of London, the South East one. Um, so it's there. Fair, fair. Let's have a look at the uh, map again. Now we're sort of at top speed. Hopefully you can still hear me okay. Um, hopefully the, drown the, the sound hasn't drowned out too much. Uh, where are we? We're there. So that, oh, that was, must have been Ilford. Is it? Oh, Seven Kings. Oh, there's Ilford there. So Ilford, Seven Kings. We just went through Good Mayors. Chadwell is coming up next. Uh, and after that, Romford. But no, if you do spot anything that looks a bit off, comment below, because yeah, I've had to do a full sort of fresh reinstall of uh, Train Sim Classic, which probably actually wasn't the issue in the end, but it's probably worth doing anyway. Still 90. So quite a straightforward route speed wise, what was it, 70 from, 70 from sort of outside of, well, not, 15 to begin with, then like 40, 30, then 70 all the way to Stratford, and then 70 up to 90. So, fairly straightforward to, to know. That looks like a neutral section there. I'm pretty certain that was a neutral section. Oh, that's probably why we lost power before on that, but we haven't any signs for it. I wasn't paying attention, maybe. So, not too far to Romford, Shenfield, we've got. Oh, Shenfield, 8 miles now to Shenfield, we're there at 1110. Where do we get, where do we get, what's off that? In Gateston, Chelmsford. So, Chelmsford, now Whitton, I think, is where we then turn off. Yeah, so Whitton is, um, yeah, that's where we turn off. Yeah, that's the sort of newer platform style. And it goes on to that. Yeah, obviously some sort of platform extension, I suppose. For well, the Elizabeth line, as you can see there, Romford. Let's get back here. Yeah, it'd be good to learn this. So, there's a 315 London Overground. So, all these trains just don't run anymore. 317s, 315s, 313s, 314s, just that, that sort of 300 series, or sort of early 300 series. They just don't run anymore. Sad. Or trains of the 70s and 80s. There are lots of different traction you can drive on this route. Like a lot of different traction. 321s, 90s, uh, 315s, uh, 379s, um, and what, 317s as well. 
and if you want to go even back further you've got you know, the 86s I think with the um, cab car or DVSA or whatever it's called there's a lot of that's sort of the not that's the cool thing about this route there's so many cool different electric multiple units which have ran on it I guess it probably is a 360 there anybody comment below why is the 360 like that Something out. Oh, hang on, that's interesting. That's half of that one. Oh, just about in time. Just. Another various station. See, so, yeah, it shouldn't be too far to Shenfield now. Good to be back on the route, um, and yeah, good. It hasn't crashed yet. I, I don't want to jinx it. In fact, I'm just gonna save it just in case. Um, but it has not crashed yet. I was on the original route. It would have crashed by now. <laughs> Probably gone in again and then crashed again already. But yeah, phase one only goes to Ipswich, uh, but phase two, I believe, will go all the way to Norwich. Uh, which would be quite nice then, because then you can do sort of, I suppose, like a, a connecting journey. You know, do a service all up to Norwich and then do the Wherry Lines to Lower Soft or Great Yarmouth. That's as all in a flirt if you want. There is Braintree on the map, so let's, let's have a little look, see. That's Branch, oh, what's that one there? What's that? Billing cat, I don't know what that one is. Where are we? We are over there. So we're not too far off Shenfield, so we should be paying attention to the. Uh, to, oh, that's Brentwood. There's Shenfield there. Some sort of line off to, yeah, Billing K there. Just going to sort of keep going back to the map, just in case. Uh, oh, that's. Is that Whitton? Yeah, so the Braintree branch is here, that goes up to Braintree. Got the bit off here. What's this? Hive and Colchester Town. Uh, off to Harwich here, and then Felixstowe, which is over here. Um, yeah, so you've got a sort of fair amount of trackage um, to uh, to head along. That's a super character. Was it Brentwood? Which will be flying through. Oh, this looks a bit faster. 19, okay. Through we go. Let's just do that again. Get the, uh, get the speed up. Oh no, it's quite steep up here. That's what we're losing. It's like, well, we're not speeding up, but it's quite a steep gradient. And they're not far into Shenfield. Not far from Shenfield then. Definitely save it there, so that's like a big, big chunk of the journey done. It was about 17, no, it's been, yeah, about 25 minutes so far. And I think this scenario said it was 65 minutes. So we're still nowhere near to, to Braintree yet. Got quite a way yet to go. Okay, that's a one and both for 75, and I suppose just after that is Shenfield. Shenfield, which I think the last time we played this route, at least the original route. I think that's where we started. I think we did, yes, did some sort of service in the 315 and then it crashed <laughs> once we got a few stations down. Which is yeah, about right for the Great Eastern Main Line.
I'm not sure how the platforms are meant to look a bit better though. to the end. Yeah, this is Shenfield. That will do me nicely. Here we are. Let's uh, do that. Do that and press T to open uh, the doors up. Get a few screenshots as we go along as well. I'm gonna put it in the ACS Facebook, see if any of us anybody mentions oh that doesn't look you know completely correct. Now I did have all the requirements, so it should be okay. Scenery density is on full as well. Shenfield. Oh we're already ready to go apparently, okay. In gate stone next. Oh, off to Wingate Stone, which is in just three miles. <clears throat> yeah, get some nice traction motor already out. Yeah, again, this is only phase one, so I'm sure they'll be doing lots more in phase two, which then I might, well, I don't know, if it might, they might then not be members only, and they might set it as a standalone. Not entirely sure, but uh, possibly. Cool. Right, let's get that up to 90 again, well, 80, then up to uh, 90. Try and get some nice photos. Why don't we get some nice photos on the brain tree branch? I think it's a single track for most of it. It's like a quaint little uh, a little branch. Oh, neutral section. Boom, off just in time. Okay, yeah, line light's gone out. That's now back. Cool. Let's try and get another little shot here as well. No, not that. Hang on. Get that off. There we go. That's, that's better. Don't want that on. Yeah, could have picked probably better weather though, <laughs> instead of the weather it is at the moment in the game, so it was just a bit hazy. Have a screenshot. There we go. Right, let's get that on as we speed up. And yeah, another thing you do require for this route is um, the OHLE pack. That was just sort of yeah, the standard for ATS routes, having the ATS OHLE pack. Which just makes the overhead stuff just look a lot better and more realistic. Then to the default. Ew. And also the AP Vegetation Pack, I don't think it's compatible with this route. Um, not too sure why. Um, it might have been a reason, but yeah, I don't think the AP Veg Pack works on here. Again, that might be something that they will change in the future, but yeah, I don't think the Veg Pack works. Although I think the Veg Pack works on other ATS routes. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty certain it works on the um, ATS Kings Cross Kings Lynn. Um, so maybe that's again something they will sort in future. Again, I'm pretty certain it doesn't work on me. I remember reading a notice about it. Right, let's slow that down. In gate step. Oh, 
But again, this route isn't like completely fully new. It's um, sort of, I suppose, over the top of the old Great Eastern Main Line, but updated, made to perform better. So it's not like a completely new route, such as you know Cambridge Peterborough uh, or Hitchwell. Basically, yeah, Kings Cross, Kings Lynn, Cambridge Peterborough, Chat Moss. It's not completely new. Um, I suppose hence probably why it's free if you have the membership. Um, it's still yeah, sort of, sort of a work in progress as well. But just to make the Great Eastern Mainline playable. In readiness for the flirt. Oh, hello. A bunch of trains there. I'll mix them. Oh, that's our stop marker. Probably not going to stop on the stop marker. Oh, we might, mm, no, we might actually be alright. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> it's in Gatestone. Uh, let's do that, do that, and do the doors. Cool. Let's try and get a photo at the station. See, the 317 just never really comes out nice in photos. So, there you go, like that. Yeah. Sure, we can do better. Right, let's save the game again just in case. It's like, whoa, well, we can't be having that. I'm also going to quickly do this as well. Just restart the uh, recording just in case as well. Right, Chelmsford next in six miles. Let's go, yes, it's a big old um, area. It's a lot going on. Right, where are we? We're down down here. What stations have we got in between? Chelmsford, Hatfield, Peveril, and then we turn off there. Don't we stop at Hatfield, Peveril, do we? No. Let's watch it leaving. GA317. Which we have installed the branding patch for. Good. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically reinstall of the AP thing as one of the uh, fresh reinstalls. So yeah, you might not see branding on a few of the trains. So still yet to install the branding patch. off we go but I'm glad we've got this working so again very thankful to uh, to the guys in the ATS Facebook group and yeah the, the thing was literally just load into if you guys get the same which hopefully you won't but if you do load into I don't know another ATS just load into another bit of route load into another just random scenario back out of that straight away once it's loaded and then try loading one of these and it should then work So the last time I played the original route probably would have been at least two years ago. So in terms of sort of comparing it to that, it's like, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know this route well and have played it much on the original. This is nice out, out here though. I think Chelmsford is sort of a, another major place. And then is it Colchester you've got above there? It's just like another... Big old place, was that here? Yeah, Colchester's there. Yeah. Number two as we go through. They've got like a almost swing gate there. I've got like an automatic swing gate. We had one um, at my local until like about 2014. They switched it out for a uh, yeah, it's an uppy, an uppy down if I want sort of a outy any one. <laughs> and yeah, the route's performing fairly well. I mean, we're at 40. 40 odd FPS, the old drop every now and again, but uh, that's just normal for Trenton Classic, at least for me. So yeah, it runs fine. Same about Liverpool Street. 
performance was fine. I mean, through Stratford, a bit hit and miss, but then it's Stratford. It's a massive area. It has to load in at a very busy station. back in the 317 we haven't really used it much I mean we did it on the uh, West Anglia mainline on the steam workshop um, and on the Kings Cross Kings Lynn route was first capital connect that uh, used to have some 317s but apart from that we haven't really driven it much I suppose this route gives it another lease of life there's quite a few scenarios now off this route um, so yeah, you'll see plenty of hopefully, hopefully plenty of videos on it. You know, Felix Stow Branch. We're going to do that. I'll probably do that after this actually. Uh, a run in the 90 across the full thing from its switch to um, Liverpool Street. So the average speed on here seems to be 90. Just remember that, and we'll be all good. We come up to Chelmsford. Which I always remember seeing in um, a squirrel video on this route. I'm sure Squirrel the YouTuber, not an actual squirrel playing the game. Um, they had, I always remember his like Christmas snowy Great Easter mainline video coming into Colchester and the Chelmsford. So I think it's one of his like um, local stations, I think. Or some st station he's got connections with. Yeah, so it's just good to be learning the Great Eastern Main Line. As to me, it's sort of, I must say, it's a bit like the Chilton Main Line. It's sort of where it's just like, oh, that, that one, sort of not as important as, say, the West Coast, the East Coast, the South West, the, etc. So it's good to sort of be uh, be learning it when he's trying to you know, give it a go and give it a bash. Oh, this is Chelmsford. Looks like a different type of platform here. Oh, that's sort of right down to the end. Let's get uh, an external. These never go to plan. External arrival shot. Here we are, this is Chelmsford, and that is a perfect time to save the game again. So I think next is Whitton. Which is where yeah, we then go off uh, up the Braintree branch. Let's try and get a few screenshots sort of as, as we go along. Just so I can post something in the Facebook saying, oh, I got on. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> right, Whitton next at eight miles. Have I got the signal EP on? Should do. I'll just double check, actually. I can tell we got it because the signal either turned red straight away. Or we'll... Uh, mm, that could be the non-EP. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, we don't have the signal EP on. I shall reinstall that as well. Luckily, that's not as noticeable. Um, when I first um, sort of start recording on here, this is actually the third time. Uh, I only went as like as literally just out of Liverpool Street. I hadn't had the track EP installed either, so I had to go out get that in. But since the signal EP isn't on as well, so um, yeah, I'll get I'll get all of those things um, back in. Back in, I suppose, yeah, for the next time we're on here.
Not too bad though, those signals. It's not, you know, great, great. I don't have ATS that you do their own signals. Like Just Trains, they've got their own sort of signals they do. I don't think ATS do. So we're going through, was it Hat, Hat, Hatfield, Hatfield? Let's have a little look at look see again. Uh, where's it gone? It's just mid, what station in the middle, wasn't it? Where is it? No, yeah, Hat, Hatfield, Peveril. This is a cool sign there, hopefully we can see. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the the video I'm using for reference of how probably the game should look is um, uh, oh, there's the 360. It must be 360 those ones. Uh, is yeah, Trains in TV. Do go and check out their channel. Um, yeah, I think they have like basically a monster PC, so it all runs like really well and etc. I'm just saying, have I got that? Have I got that? And it's like, yeah, so far, so good. I think. So yeah, from Whitton, yeah, we go off on the branch line. I think you've got a really slow limit going around the corner. I remember that. And yeah, the sort of single track. I think Cressing stations in the middle of nowhere. So no, White Notley and Cressing are sort of in the middle of nowhere. And then yeah, Braintree, Freeport, and Braintree are sort of well, Braintree. So I think Braintree is a town. Funny place, I mean Braintree. Where do you? I live in Braintree. floor on it again so it's not a slow route it's a pretty quick route I think it's called the Norwich 90 oh I'm turning it warning board again so trains can do Liverpool Street to Norwich in 90 minutes 60 minutes to Ipswich and another 30 minutes to Norwich so as I was phase 2 probably won't take as long as it must be from half the distance shot as we go along. Oh, there's, a, there's the warning board well, for that side. Is it from this side? Little fly by shot for you. There it goes. Can't see a Hatfield Peveril, and then from there not too far to Witton, which I think I'm right. Is it Witton? Witton or Witton? I bet it's Witton, isn't it? I've been probably pronouncing it wrong the whole entire video. All the locals going mad, pitchforks out in the chat in the comments. Witton, Witton, Witton. Quite a gradient change there, isn't there? Is that the next station? Yeah. Let's get a fly by shot through there. If that is the next station, which. Well, we're not stopping there. Let's have a little look, see. But you've got much more foliage on the fields. Yeah, you've got lots of different. Uh, where was it? Uh, one of these signs sort of had. Uh, yeah, like that. that's cool. First Great Eastern. Yeah. We are going basically at the top speed of this unit. Oh my god, 100 miles an hour the top is. 
and then we got a 97. It doesn't seem to be doing much more. So it probably have sort of reached its operational limits. Well, actually, we're going downhill now, so we'll probably get it up to 100. Now we've got a 25 coming in to Winton, which is not far now. I want to get a hundred. Come on, let's get a hundred, then we'll start sliding. Not but come on, before the neutral section. Hundred, come on. Yes, a hundred. Boom, whack that off and get the brakes on. Step three if you can on site, full service. It was worth it, it was worth getting up to that speed. We do need to slow down a bit, a bit more. Should be okay. So we reached 100, 100 in the 317. Very much worth it. Platform 4, so we're probably going to be tucking right the way over. Look that, perfect. Yeah, 10 miles an hour. Yeah, well, this is Witten. I can't. Was that what was I saying? Witten or Witten? I can't remember which one I was saying now. Witten, Witten. That's that sound. Just sounds correct. different stop markers everywhere. Yeah, there we go, this is Whitton, let's do the doors. There we go. Yeah, now we go down the branch line. I'm going to try and get a screenshot maybe this. It's all brighter here. Try and get a nice uh, photo. They want to sort of pass the uh, stop marker there. The guards are like, come on, get us out of here. We are onto the uh, let's save it as well. So that was quite a simple run. I mean, it brings you down for this. It's 90, what was it, 90, 100. It, uh, the speed doesn't seem to change, you know, awfully much. Um, so, yeah, I can we probably give it a go doing it hardless at some point. Oh, hang on, go a bit further. I'm trying to get a nice photo. See, all the lights come out now. Now we go get all the way up here. I think the original weather, well actually it's cloud EP weather. And the cloud yeah, the cloud EP is one of the requirements, but I don't have it. So when I went in it was just sort of all grey and not nice. So I did change it, put it onto AP clear. But still looks a bit sort of dismal. But uh looking a bit better now. But yeah, the day I'm recording this, it's we've got Semmering Bar now as well for train so It's like, should I do that? Should I do this? It's like, I think I'll do this. Semmering Bar's good, but we're playing this. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's really glad we got this. Um, the, the, we got this working, as it was sort of just. I was thinking about it. I was just like, oh my god, how you know, spent sixty odd quid, you know, thirty two quid for the membership, and then you know, for, yeah, well, seventeen pounds for I think the nineteen and fourteen pounds for the Mark Freeze. 
14 quid for some coaches. Um, you know, 60 odd, 65 quid. And it was like, I can't play it. I mean, I can't really use the 90 elsewhere because you know, it doesn't really run. Well, I mean, I think the scenarios with the West Coast Man Line North. And, um, yeah, so I'm just really glad we managed to get it going. So, again, hats off. I'm very grateful to the um, ATS Facebook group. Which, if you're not in, go in. There's been any help or support uh, for anything Train Sim Classic. People know in there. <laughs> You've got lots of sort of developers, and yeah, it's a good place to go. So it's been an hour now. Uh, it was now 10:45. Yeah. It's Feels like it's been much longer, but so as we haven't done really done the route properly before. You sort of, you know, whenever you do something for the first time, it just feels a lot slower. Um, yeah, well, I've still got a bit of a way to go, I suppose. But no, it's good, a good sort of start knowing this route quite well. So again, this is sort of like a literally a grey area uh, for me when it comes to. Uh, you know, main lines coming out of London, the Great Western are more right with Brighton, the South Southwest Main Line are more right with South East Main Line are more right with East Coast Main Line right all right with um it's, it's basically the Chilton Main Line and the Great Eastern Main Line they're like uh, uh what stations, what 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 trains uh, So it's good that we're sort of yeah, fill in that that knowledge. That's why the Great Eastern Main Line's electrified, it's a pretty you know, well decent length, it's got nice branch lines come on off of it, so it's something definitely worth getting to know, especially as the flirt's coming out, I mean when the flirt comes out, hopefully we can do it all hudless, because that's meant to be like one of the best trains, most detailed trains come into Train Sim Classic, um, so I sort of want to be able to sort of play it in the most sort of realistic way, which will be on the Great Eastern Main Line. Another route which would be really cool is seeing something out of Fenchurch Street, which I think was on the UK, was it the Crouch Valley line or something? It was on the UKTS website, and I've seen that shut down now, you can't get it. But yeah, sort of an updated, yeah, route coming out of Fenchurch Street and going to um, Shoeberry Ness and uh, Southend. That'll be an awesome network to see. Which is sort of surprising we haven't seen anything really on that. You know, more up to date. So that would be something perfect for trains and world, the C2C network. Just do the full thing. <laughs> it's only well, it's only two lines, isn't it? To Shoeberry Ness via Tilbury and the other way. Well, I can't have to white not live, got a twenty mile per hour limit. Is that not an open level crossing, is it? I think it's an open level crossing. Should be. There we go. Is that, what's that neutral section? Yeah, neutral section just before it. Oh no, that's not a neutral section. I think that might actually be an open level crossing. It's quite possibly an open crossing. Right, coming up to White Notley. open level crossing actually. So there's twenty on there but then five on the board. That's just what I could write down just in case. No it's not open, no it's no has it got no I don't think it does have gates. No it does have gates. Maybe it used to be an open level crossing.
Well, into White Notley, probably picking up nobody. Is the brain tree service a busy service or is it quite a quiet one? Here we go. Why are we stopping? Right up there. I don't know if we were supposed to come down, but uh, I think perhaps it on the board it said five, didn't it? Here we are, this is Braintree. So I hope we're in the platform, here we are, good. Hang on, brain tree, white notley. This is not brain tree. Not not just yet. Jumping ahead of the gun there. Lovely train though. And yeah, next up will be uh Crescent, I think it was, wasn't it? Crescent. I don't think they're too far away all these ones. Crescent at one mile. Or the 20 miles an hour, that's for a little bit. Bit of a gradient as well, so I think I'll give it a bit of, bit of boost, bit of juice. And we're off. And again, the route still hasn't crashed. We've been all through Stratford, London. That's impressive. Up to fifty, okay. I should get that. Yeah, not too far on to crescent. This is lovely along this bit. Hill as well. I'm going to start popping it down. For Crescent. There we go. This is Crescent Station we're coming into. Now we got so we got another sort of really slow bit, so that's another sort of one of those open or slightly open level crossings. Well, this one actually has a stop on it. Okay. So, wait for white light and whistle before proceeding. That's right, so we got to stop on that anyway, pretty much. Well, I can see the white light. Let's see. Uh, I saw I saw a flirt sign there. I think. Uh, oh, seven twenty. There, that's the flirt. I think. Or was it the seven four five and the seven five five? 
Oh, they got the white light. Trains to Witten, trains to Braintree. And then Braintree Freeport after this. So we are getting there towards the end of the journey now. Twenty to the back of the trains off that crossing. What's everyone's favourite branch line on this route? Braintree, Felixstowe, Harwich, or even Colchester Town? What's your uh, well, the Colchester Town? I think that then goes off to uh, it Walton on the Nays and Clacton. Goes off to those places eventually. Again, don't know the area too well. Alright, let's get that up. Which I think, yeah, it's called Braintree Village now. I suppose perhaps when this was set in 2020, 2021, which is, what, three years ago already? I uh, suppose maybe it was still called Brain Tree Freeport. Yeah, Brain Tree Freeport, here we are. Welcome to Brain Tree Freeport. You've got the really sort of simple signage, haven't you? Like the BR sort of era signage. A bit like what you get on uh, Blackpool branches on TSW. Sort of the white background, the black writing, that's it. Just very basic, no sort of brand into it. A short platform here. Uh, does this have SDO? Well, let's hope those doors don't open. Yeah, I don't think this has SDO. This uh, this train. I suppose the guard would say, "Oh, wait, don't get off on coach eight. So otherwise, you won't be on the platform. Be at Braintree Freeport. Up next is, uh, well, Braintree. And that is Journey's End, the end of our first look of this, uh, yeah, sort of updated, working, Great Easter Man on the Gemma, phase one. Obviously, lots more track work we can look at as well. So, plenty more videos on the route. But yeah, probably do the Felix Stowe branch. Um, I'll do a run in the 90 next. There we go.
comes down to 15. There's the 35. And 15, I suppose, just round the corner. Brakes on a little bit more. And yeah, here we are. Oh, let's put that down. Sort of, yeah, very just sort of not a lot going on here, it seems. Sort of station, single track branch line, it's yeah, just not really a big, doesn't really feel like a town station, almost a bit like a Seaford. Feels like it should have like another platform, maybe it used to. But there's two included scenarios for the route. Um, but there's plenty more now on the ATS website. One being the 170 run on the Felix Day branch. That will do. Don't want to go too close on TS. Don't want it yeah, doing silly things. No, we did that, didn't we? There we go. There we have it. That is a full run from Liverpool Street Station up to um up to Braintree uh, which is um, well a fair amount of the way a fair chunk of the route done and Ipswich is uh not there where's Ipswich up there so yeah fair old man driver bend over will take a oh, uh very funny. Um, there we go. Uh, that is coming for me. Hopefully everybody has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places. Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. That was yeah the Great Eastern Mainline Gemma Phase 1, which is available on the ATS website. Although you will need the ATS subscription to then be able to download it for free. Um, so that's sort of the catch. Um, but yeah, apart from that, links can be found, as I said, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.